Hi everybody, I'm Melissa Hemsley and today I'm in my kitchen and I'm going to show you my cupboard cookies from my cookbook, Eat Green. I'm going to post the recipe for you, very, very easy, very simple, everybody's going to love them and you can easily swap things in or out. I'm using two eggs but you can use a large ripe mashed banana if you're without eggs or you're vegan and I hope you like. Okay, looks like a lot but I'm just showing you the options. So you've got here uh, smooth almond butter baking powder, tahini, if you've got dark tahini that's cool but you might want a bit more sweetness. Um, I've got two packets of chocolates here but I want 100 grams and they don't quite make it so I'll use a bit from each. Two eggs, uh, you can use a large mashed ripe banana, uh, black or white sesame seeds, I've got both so I'm going to use both, a little bit of vanilla extract. If you wanted to, you could add a bit of um, coconut or some raisins but essentially it's about five ingredients. So first things first, the oven is on at about 170, 175. I have got my big mixing bowl, that's from my mum. My mum got that from a charity shop and I'm whisking in two eggs. All right, let's get in some baking powder. We want two teaspoons, probably best to measure this out, but I've lost my measurer for the moment. Get rid of any bits. Okay, done. Uh, four tablespoons of maple syrup. Oh, it's a fresh one. Oh no. <laughs> lift, lift and peel. Lift and peel, it says. Oh, so four tablespoons of maple syrup. One, two, three, four. Done. If you're not used to tahini or someone in your family's not used to tahini, you might want to add a tiny bit more little dash of vanilla extract, about two teaspoons. I've got fair trade vanilla extract there. And give it another little whisk. That's perfect. Okay. Then you're gonna weigh out 150 mils of 150 grams of tahini, 110 of the nut butter. Um, if you want and you're starting out, you could do a bit more nut butter and a bit less tahini, so swap the ratios. Boom, 260. So that is our tahini and our nut butter. Give it a little stir. And little tip, obviously as your kitchen warms up, your tahini and your nut butter, you've got sort of the more oily stuff at the top. You might have the solid stuff at the bottom. So give it a real good stir. Otherwise you'll end up with all the oily bits. Um, and that might make your cookies a little bit wet. So that is your tahini, your nut butter, your maple syrup, your baking powder, and your vanilla. You saw that come together really nicely there. Let's add a little pinch of sea salt, because sea salt brings out the sweetness in our baking. And then all you need to do, I mean, if you didn't have chocolate, at this point you could throw in some chewy chopped dates, you could throw in some raisins, but I've got chocolate, I want chocolate, and I'm going to chop up 100 grams of chocolate now and get it in there. Add some chocolate to round down it, the numbers to 100 grams of chocolate. We've got two different types here. Um, the nice thing is, is if you've got if you've got Easter or Christmas or whatever, you've got odds and ends, you can mix them all up here. So I'm just going to roughly chop them if you've got chocolate chips, that's cool too. Done. And then you want 30 grams of sesame seeds. Let's do a mix of both. There's the black ones. Oh, slightly over. No such thing as too many sesame seeds. They're gonna get a bit sticky in there, but that's okay. And then dump them in. I can get licked later. So, sesame seeds and chocolate. In you go. And then let's just stir it in. Now, this is a single batch. This is going to make about 16 cookies, but I would normally double batch them. Obviously, always nice to have extra cookies, give them away to a neighbour, or you can freeze, roll up into a sort of sausage shape and freeze it which is what I like to do. Right, and now I'm just gonna cookie scoop them out. I'm gonna use this baking parchment. 
and it's going to be great because I can wrap up my cookies later too. That goes in, oven's on. And I don't like unnecessary kitchen gadgets, but because I made so many of these cookies, I got this little sort of ice cream scoop baking. What am I trying to say? What are they called? An ice cream scoop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's an ice cream scoop or a cookie scooper. That is what they're called. Uh, and it just makes all of this a pledge to do. So there you go. I'm not a fancy person when it comes to baking. Oh, I managed to mess that one right up. Um, the important thing to do with, with this is don't uh, have them too close together. I'm actually thinking, is that too close together? I think it is. I might just space them out a little bit more. The more space, the better. If you do the banana version, I would like to say your cookies are going to be less, uh, less round, as it were. They're going to be a little bit flatter, but still just as delicious. And with the banana ones, I really, really like to add some cinnamon to them. You could add cinnamon to these ones too. What you could do as well is, if you fancy, why not do just one last little sprinkle on top? And this is where dried coconut could come in handy. If you should find yourself with some, I don't know, you might have bought some for baking or for making a lovely noodle salad. You can put it on. And I want that extra bit of sea salt. Ta-da! Right, I'll do another tray now. Ice cream scooper -y thing. You can just use two teaspoons. It does not matter how they look. I actually love them when they're nice and rustic. Um, little last sprinkle on here. Oh, can't get my fingers in. Oh. Yeah. Little sprink. In the go. All right, ready to take out the oven? There's the first ones. They look all right. Too. Looking pretty good. So then you want to leave them to cool a little bit. You can transfer them onto a wire rack or just give them a little prod. Looking amazing. Of course, they're going to cook a little bit more as well. So there you go. Here's one batch of two batches of my tahini chop chip cookies. All my favorite things tahini, um, nut butter, chocolate, of course, bit of vanilla, sea salt. Delicious. And I hope you'll really enjoy them. Thank you so much, Condé Nash Traveller, for having me.